हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल इन क्विक सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ऑल इंडिया का टेस्ट सीरीज मेडिकल 2020 दिस इज द टेस्ट नंबर 1 फॉर कोड ए एंड बी फॉर वाईएम बैच एंड दिस टेस्ट वाज कंडक्टेड ऑन 26th जुलाई 2020 नाउ दिस सॉल्यूशन इज फॉर फिजिक्स सब्जेक्ट नाउ मूव टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 व्हिच स्टेट्स दैट इन यूनिफॉर्म इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑल पॉइंट्स आर एट सेम पोटेंशियल नो टू पॉइंट्स कैन हैव द सेम पोटेंशियल points separated by the same distance must have the same potential difference points separated by the different distances may have the same potential difference now dear students just consider some uniform electric field lines now let there will be some equipotential surfaces which are perpendicular to the electric field lines now locate some points let these points are a b and c now just check the options one by one then we will get that all points are at same potential this is the wrong statement because here point a and point b have the different potential now no two points can have same potential this is also wrong statement because here point b and point c have the same potential now points separated by the same distance must have the same potential difference this is also wrong statement because if we draw any point in any arbitrary direction let this is distance r and here point is d then at the same distance let this is also r then we can see that the potential difference between a and d are different than the potential difference between a and b now check the option number 4 point separated by the different distances may have the same potential difference dear student this is the correct answer because point a and b and point a and c have the different distances but their potential differences are same hence option 4 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 2 which states that a point charge q is divided into two parts and the both the parts are separated by distance r the value of charges on each part so that the force between these two parts be maximum r now dear students just consider the situation in which one charge is divided into two parts let one part has charge q then other part will have charge q minus q let this distance is r then what will be the formula force by coulomb's law force will be given by k q into capital q minus small q upon r square now for f to be maximum df upon dq should be zero because here value of force depends on the q if its derivative is zero then force will be maximum now after solving we will get that df upon dq will be equal to 2q minus q after solving we will get q equal to q by 2 and if we put this value in this then q minus q will also be equal to q by 2 now which option will be correct option number 2 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 3 which states that an imaginary cube of length l by 2 is shown in the figure a uniformly charged rod having linear charge density lambda and length l moves towards the left with constant speed v at time t equal to 0 the left end just touches the center of face of the cube choose the correct graph which represents the flux of the electric field through the cube as rod goes through it now dear students consider three situation in which the length of rod inside the cube goes on increasing because it is moving with constant velocity towards left side in this situation q will increase that means flux will also increase in second situation rod going to left but inside the cube length of rod remains constant that means in q includes will be constant that means flux will be constant okay now in third situation what will happen in third situation rod is going to left but at this time length of rod goes on decreasing that means q enclosed goes on decreasing implies that flux will also decrease hence which option will be correct the variation of flux with time given in option 3 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 4 which states that a small dipole of dipole moment p is kept at the center of ring of radius a and uniformly ch distributed charge q the dipole moment has direction along the axis of ring 
the resultant force on the ring due to the dipole is now dear students just consider the situation that there is a ring and at the center and a dipole is placed now just see all the points on the ring will lie on the equatorial position of the dipole and we know that at equatorial position what will be the electric field electric field will be equal to kp upon a q where a is the radius of this ring because all the points will lie on the at the a distance now what will be the force f will be equal to q into e and this will be equal to k q p upon a q if we put the value of k then it will be q p upon 4 pi epsilon naught a q and option 2 will be correct answer now move to the question number 5 which states that electric field inside the cavity of a uniformly charged solid sphere is options are non-uniform, zero, uniform and same as that on the surface of charged solid sphere now dear student just consider a solid sphere inside that there is a cavity now let's center of the sphere is C and center of the cavity is C1 and distance between this is let D at any point inside the cavity what will be the electric field the electric field at any point let it is P inside the cavity is given by rho upon 3 epsilon naught into C C1 vector as we can see that C C1 vector is fixed for this sphere and cavity for any point now what will be the electric field this electric field will be constant because here distance c1 is constant and its direction is also fixed hence at any point inside the cavity field will be uniform hence option 3 will be the correct answer now move to the question number 6 